I've redone how the data is retained for the Pilot Flying J updates. It's all in a database now and I have a slide deck. I figure that will optimize and respect everyone's time and also make the effort it takes to do updates on my part lighter. Let's get into the update. This week, the average price dropped to 60 cents from 61 cents and prior to that it was 62 cents. So the price is definitely coming down. The new sites this um, update are Peculiar, Missouri, and Hope Hall, Alabama. Spotted under construction, we've got multiple new sites. Okeechobee, Florida, on the Sunshine State Parkway, the Florida Turnpike. We have uh, Canton, Ohio. We've got Remington, Indiana. Sulphur Springs, Texas, and Edmond, Oklahoma. This is what those look like in table form. If you care to see what the SQL I'm using to pull it is down below. It's kind of nerding out, but there it is. Some cool things I could do since the data is in a database is I could pull various totals very easily. Uh, we have 54 sites open, 42 sites spotted under construction. If you break it out into NEVI, Ohio has 13 NEVI awards for the Pilot Flying J organization. Kansas has one, Pennsylvania has one, and Virginia has one. States in total, and these include um, open and under construction. Same thing for this uh, table. These are states with um, both open and spotted or under construction counts. So Ohio is leading with 18, but Texas ain't far behind. And Oklahoma with five, I think, is significant because Oklahoma is a pretty sparsely populated state, but still they've got five pilot flying J, either open or under construction. That's pretty big. Virginia six. Missouri is six, but uh, Georgia, Texas, and Ohio is where the bulk of this is occurring. And also being able to break out on interstate, there's a little bit of ambiguity because some of the um, locations are on two different interstates, so that kind of throws off the math when I'm doing my database commands. But still, you can see Interstate 75 and Interstate 40 are the two leading, leading contenders. And Interstate 90, which goes across east-west on the north portion of the country, Interstate 10 goes across uh, east-west on the south side of the country. Interstate 65 is kind of the sister interstate to 75. Those two are pretty close to each other. Interstate 81 is a short interstate, but it has five stations opened. That's pretty significant. Okay, let's get into further detail in the data. These are the uh, new versions of those tables that used to be in the Google Doc. That Google Doc just wasn't becoming, was becoming uh, unruly now that we're venturing into um, closing in on 100 stations. So I figured this way in a database is easier to see and uh, easier to manipulate. So here's the East Coast open stations. I'm going to scroll down. These prices have been updated as of today. Again, I'll pause here for a second. Central time zone, open. Pause here for a second. Again, prices are updated. Mountain time zones, just the one in Winslow, and the Pacific time zones, the same two, Idaho and Washington. Now let's get into the spotted under construction east coast. Here's the Okeechobee, which is the new one. A few others. I'm going to scroll down. And the sorting used to be north to south, but the sorting now is by state alphabetical. Virginia being the last. Central time zone spotted under construction. Remington, Indiana is a new one. Edmond, Oklahoma is another new one. Sulphur Springs, Texas, another new one. Mountain time zone spotted under construction, nothing new. And the Pacific time zone spotted under construction, again, nothing new. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the slide deck with updated photos of all the Canopy locations, both open and spotted under construction. Thanks for watching.